Mm, yummy. Cool. We are live, guys. What is up? It is your idea. Episode who knows? All I know is <laughs> all I know is the next one is gonna be the hundredth episode. That's right. What do you think about that? I think it's I feel like we've done more than a hundred. We we have Patreon and stuff like that. No, I just yeah. So we have they but haven't all made the light of day yeah. either. You know, it's it's a lot of short stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. A lot of short stuff as it's well. Like three years of like every week. I mean, it's, it's hard to believe weeks. that it's been a hundred that we had that much stuff to talk about. A hundred weeks. It's hard to believe that we uh, <laughs> haven't given up. Well, it's been close. Oh, yeah. It hasn't been, been that close. close. Got to take breaks. <laughs> that's yeah, this guy that's why. Actually, that's why you got to take breaks. <laughs> I was going to burn out. No, no, you're you're a thousand percent right. You got to take me it's off too this much. I pissed you off. Yeah. Why? You, that text. I know. I know it's not how you meant it. But it was. It's I'm not sure like, which one. It's, it's, I was like, Jake. Jake's the only one allowed. Dictates to, the time. Yeah. Oh, Jake's it, the only one allowed to no, do the no, show. No, it was actually more dig on me than you. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, like the only time. Me, man, because I'm not allowed, apparently not allowed. No, to no, no you were allowed. It's to. because you've been here the whole time, and it's always been eight. I don't know yeah. why he's asking what time. The point was, because uh, yeah, if anyone asks for time, weeks. it's me. Yeah. Sorry. I'm usually the guy that tries to move the time. If I had, you know, because. That's just that's me. Four weeks in a row, we've done the show on a different day and at a different time. That's all I'm saying. That's true. No. Last week I was here at seven. But it's always eight. Last year was week at seven. It was me and you. Okay. That's why. Okay. We <laughs> were like, fuck it, let's do it early. I mean, that's what I thought it was, okay. right? Was yeah. that? I, no, no. I would have I came yeah. here at five. Hey, let me check this real quick. Cool. I could have probably been here at like 7.40. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just because the time just changed and kids are whacked out and Dude. they're ready for, you know. I'm tired too, but. I'm tired of shit. They're real tired. I'm yeah. still getting over this dumb cold. Mm. Ridiculous. I haven't got sick in a while and I'm really not, I don't want to yeah. get sick. Good. Getting sick is the worst thing. Yeah. Well, last week, and you're yeah. still sort of sick. What's so going on? So <laughs> was I. Dude, oh boy, I still have some itchiness going on in my in my my. Uh, Did you have a bad here. bad throat? Like no, like wake just, up just a uh, 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 clogged chest and clogged uh, sinuses. Huh. So I annoying. have that too, dude. It's so annoying. Mucinex with the Sudafed in it, man, knock it right out. Mucinex does, but, I, but you it's have this expensive an- now. It's like thirty six dollars. Yeah, you have this annoying voice though at time, and like me personally, I like to record like all the time. Yeah, and I can't. Until it's Your voice gone. is totally different. Until it's gone. My yeah, vo- yeah. Well, my voice is so froggy pissed. because I, I've had two shows in a row, two weekends in a row. Okay, that's way harder than what I'm talking about because it's like you have a show, you have like obligations. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah, not like uh, downstairs by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, whatever, whatever happens. Whatever you want. Yeah. I, that's why, like last week, I, when I was sick, I was like, man, we, it's like supposed to be one of our biggest shows ever, and I'm sick, and I was just. Pummeling medicine, trying to get better. And my voice was was that an oh the tin tin roof? Was, uh, we, no, we were in Baltimore this weekend. This past oh, weekend. which with Mike training? Huh? No, 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 no. Oh, no, was no, a- no. you got? Oh, you actually played the tin roof show? Yeah. How was that? It was it was great. It was great. Okay. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, we as, didn't talk about it at all. Like I hated the chats I, or nothing. It was, I it was, hated that show. That's uh, when you're like in a casino, right? No, 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 no. Tin roofs and power plant. Oh yeah, you played there New Year's Eve one yep, time. Yep, yep. And yeah. it, it is it's rough. It's a rough gig. It's um like the roughest gig. Yeah, uh why? One fifteen minute break really pissed me off. Oh is that I why it's rough? Get, I didn't even get the that. We just had to keep playing. Yeah, West Wes Rice said the same thing. Yeah. And we so. were no, we we told the guy like, dude. Mm-mm. Maybe they saw that as like a maybe this isn't working. We what's their do while they're off stage? We'll tell them. <laughs> what's is their it, deal? Why are they so mean or rough because, to work for? Because power plant is right so of, busy. Yeah, and it's in the middle of Baltimore. Guaranteed constant entertainment. Okay. And also, yeah. it's like it's it's a Nashville thing. Yeah, uh, it's the same. It's a it's a. Uh, oh, it's like a me. chain. It's like a sub- yeah, 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 tin roof. I've seen them. Yep, yep. Yeah, they're, and they're, so it's up here now, Louis like in Orlando or, or yeah, something. They're everywhere. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Someone is always playing. Indianapolis. Yeah. If you're not playing, you. you're like losing chance to grab people in. But that, that's the cool thing, well, because it was nice this past weekend. So the guitar, or excuse me, the guitar, the stupid garage doors were open. Yeah, yeah. So people like, you know, I'll never. There was these three people, these three white kids walk by, and we were playing dashboard, and they, it, it pulled them in, and they didn't leave. I was like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> it's like a trap. Which, which dashboard got me? Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. That's yeah. a jam. It would have yeah. got me so fast. It's such a jam. It was a good night. Um, getting home super late. That sucks. Awful. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's but, rough. Uh, that that last little, like, 45 minutes. They don't take care of their equipment there. Their sound equipment's trash. All it doesn't the, sound All great. the wires are frayed. No. Didn't, no. The subs on the floor didn't work. The overheads didn't work. They had to plug in wedges for us. And we run, ran everything through fucking two wedges. No wonder, dude. They're, they're, you gotta trash. Spend, you gotta spend money and make money. You gotta sound good. Everyone's gotta come in there. Trash. Yeah, that sucks. Anyways, moving mm. on. Not trying to trash what that else, joint, uh, but if I was, like, the, like, the franchisee, and like I saw the stuff I paid for taken care of like that, I'd be pissed. That's all I'm saying. That's mm. true. How did it get that bad, really? That's bad. So, uh, anyway, move, moving on. What happened this past week? Besides, I was sick. 
a little bit. Mm. Um, <sighs> shit. Went to the zoo. What zoo? Felix wanted to see. I went to the DC Zoo. It's uh, the zoo is something, man. Dude, I love the zoo. Those orangutans look sad as oh, shit. Yeah. They look so t- sad. They look, t- dude. It's it's so unnatural. Depressing. The primates. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, they, yeah. they should not be locked up, bro. Dude, they literally want. They would kill you if they could. I think. I think so too. They're a little too lost. They're like kind of crazy in there. We We're, went to that little, uh, the one in Luray, Ca- like near Luray Caverns, is like a little backyard zoo. I wanted to check that dude, out. Dude, they got monkeys in there. Monkeys. And the monkeys are so Wild. mean, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they they pick rocks up and try. Chuck them at you. <laughs> the one, the one slammed into the cage so hard, I know that it hurt itself. But you could tell it was just so mad to be uh, in the cage. It just didn't where care. Where was this at? I didn't hear that part. Loray, 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 Virginia. Oh. There's, there's literally like a little backyard like zoo. That's trash, dude. Favorite, <laughs> favorite, I hate, I hate dude, that. Favorite so. animal at the zoo. Huh? Me and Jess had this conversation last. Favorite night. animal at the zoo. Yes. I really, really love seeing an elephant. It's so beautiful. It's old. It's majestic. It's mm. fun. Majestic. And tortoises are really, really old too. Yeah, man. Um, Every animal at the zoo. It depends, though. It depends what they're doing when you're there. Like, it, it like if this like is the grills peak, are so funny. If this is peak interaction, like it's gonna do what yeah. what it does. Yeah. Then I'm probably going lying because that roar would literally shake your chest. It's yeah. loud. Yeah, and they're still so subdued. They're they're, they're yep. still just chilling. Yep. There know? was literally at the at the zoo on Saturday. There was literally like this. I can't remember what it was called. It was like a deer. From Africa, and it's literally walking around like with a, a tranquil w- with a tranquilizer dart like hanging out of its leg. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, "Wow!" Jesus. They didn't even care to like pull it out. They're like, "Nah, this one's drugged." Well, <laughs> yeah. dude, the National Zoo does not have a great reputation for taking great care of their animals. No, they, I mean they they uh, it's my, my my giraffes. Giraffes are number one, bro. Love giraffes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told Jess last night if I hit the Powerball, I'm buying uh, half a Golden Beach at the bottom of the hill yeah. and telling everybody on one half of the road, they don't live here anymore. Just give them a million dollars. Go away. You know what's funny? Um, <laughs> so um, what? Huh? And then you're going to put drafts there? Yeah, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna make a, a draft farm at, at the bottom of Golden Beach, Listen. and then I'm gonna give me and all my friends houses to live on the compound. That Sweet. is literally the one animal Felix. When we asked him what he want to see, he was like giraffe. Hell yeah, bro! Yeah, 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 blue tongues. Yep, he ended up walking away with a elephant, stuffed animal elephant that we named Elon <laughs> Tusk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the last time I went to a real zoo? What, you like, San Diego? Nope, it was in Arizona. I got kicked out of the zoo. Were you, <laughs> were you drunk? <laughs> no. No. You made a stink about <laughs> something, dude. Oh, dude. What, what, I can't oh. do this right now? <laughs> it, was, oh, it, it, was, it was bad. It was bad. I want to hear the story. <laughs> you want to hear the story? Right, right. Let's yeah, go. Dude. Come How on. do you get kicked out of a zoo unless you're trying to free animals? <sighs> this, is another, funny, this, is a, this is kind It'll of a funny story. See, this is what we need Wes on top of right now. I'm with, the, I'm with your story coming up. He could totally p- just put up a funny picture, and we would have <laughs> it like right there on the TVs. And just every time we talk about some certain thing, yeah. our Google man would be killing it on Google, right? Well, unfortunately... <laughs> He couldn't be here tonight. Yep. I think he could have, but he already said he couldn't because he would have been the fifth wheel on the Sam interview. And then he uh, couldn't say that, yeah, I can come now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, he, I don't think he could come, but maybe. Jake, we're all getting tattoos. You're getting one. What if you get like a really tattoos. small one on like We're going to pull one on the bottom of your foot. I, we're going to pull one on the bottom of your foot. I cannot have the tattoo. bottom of my foot touched. Why? It's too ticklish. Like, there's no way. What that about, that would about, literally torture. What about your, your lip here? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> those, are trif- Jake, those are trifling. Oh, no. Jake, well, just you, a little tramp stamp. <laughs> Heather will love I'm it. sure I could think of something like a little freckle put, somewhere put that you would it, never like, even. Put it really small. We're all going to get the zero butt idea. cheek. We're all going to get the zero <laughs> idea logo. Come on, dog. No. You can get as small as you want, I promise. You just got to try it. Yeah, but what if she like, messes up and goes. Bzz. She's not going to mess up that <laughs> small. I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. I'm it's kidding. so small. Like, yeah. The smaller it is, actually, the worse it would be, but it's okay. But anyway, so, you got kicked out of the Arizona Zoo, apparently. The yeah, the Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Yeah, yep. Scottsdale. Thank you, Brent. What a mess. Yeah. This was a bad this was a bad day. It was first of all, it was Mia's first ever trip to the zoo. <laughs> it really didn't start with me. Jake. It started with my brother. Which Matt? one? Jackson. Oh, uh, no way. It's a tough one. Jackson's the sweetheart. First of all, we didn't get to go to the zoo till like three in the afternoon. And oh, they were closing okay. at like oh, six. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So we're like, oh, well, it's kind of late already. This we're just gonna try to go see the drafts and a yeah. couple other the big, you know, the big stuff and then yeah. roll. And half the stuff was closed anyway. They told us the lions were already asleep or whatever. We're like, right, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> they put them away for the day. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, they're still charging like, um, you know, $50, $60 a ticket or whatever. Oh, okay. Wee. Great. It was free for like three and under, I think. They drank the lions. They're only awake for like three hours. They, yeah, oh. they do. Like three and under or four I mean, and under, whatever no, it was. No, seriously. A cat sleeps 16, 18 hours a day. 
So if they drank them, <laughs> they're probably awake for like three hours. They probably drugged them to keep them up. Yeah, they probably, yeah, they probably give them oh, amphetamines. Shit. It might be the other way around. Dude, that sucks. Poke them yeah. a little bit. Go move. It's a business, dude. I know. It is a business. But they they're have, not they there must, to They must like cycle them minds. in and out like when they got a sleepy time. Although you're watching the cats sleep. You're watching the big yeah. cats sleep the, the whole time. They're like rolling around and shit. Yeah, but once the word gets out that like the animals aren't really coming out, you don't go to that zoo anymore. Yeah. yeah. It the stinks. word spreads like what, what these little zoo fanatics <laughs> are you talking about. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. <laughs> oh, the hey, I, I went to the San Diego Zoo one time. <laughs> yeah, tell which us is about up and down the hills. Story. I will. It's up and down hills. <laughs> yeah. Like it's so hard to walk. It, it's yeah. it's oh, ridiculous. Dude, the National Zoo kind of sucks if you got to walk up it. Yeah. He's, every, he's right. San Diego Zoo was tough, brutal. Tough. They don't tell you about that. No. Mm-hmm. And then every single, almost every single exhibit, for whatever yep. reason, they're like, no, there's no animals here today. Yeah. It was flamingos. Every single exhibit had flamingos in it. I'm like, dude. We just paid a lot of money to see all these animals. You're telling me they're they're all sick or they're. Not, you know, I'm like, yeah. What am I doing? So so <laughs> yeah. I'm, spread, panda, I'm spreading the, the word. Don't go to the San the Diego panda, Zoo. You barely see. You're like, oh, here it comes, here it comes, yeah. and it's like it's literally marching back and forth by the exit, <laughs> trying to get out and shitting itself. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it's it's like everything you know, see. Like, it's I, like I not guess natural. I poop in front of people again. Yeah, you know? like, dude, I have to shit. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> I mean, it's brutal. Yeah. Like it does suck going in there and seeing these animals this way. Oh, uh, man. Ex- I mean, but SeaWorld was much worse with the with the killer whales. I couldn't do that. They were literally in like bathtubs in comparison to what they had. Yeah. It's it's that that was brutal. Anyways, wait till you go to the Loray Zoo. So <laughs> we're going through and I think his son had literally just turned three or four, whatever the age was where it was free. Yeah. And it was literally like fifty two bucks or something. And he just oh. spent you know, you're buying tickets for five people. So yeah. four of them is two hundred bucks, and you're like, F it. You're still three. Right. Basically. So they go through, and he tells Leia, yeah, okay, fine. And then we're going up to where you actually go into the thing, and you give him your tickets. Mm-hmm. And the lady was like, uh, how old is he? And, and Jackson was like, um, three, or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Little white lie. But whatever. Like I said, it was three in the afternoon. It was hey. three in the afternoon. Late. He already right. paid, gave him 200 bucks. Whatever. Right. And the <laughs> lady uh, literally asked him, the kid, after oh, this conversation, oh, 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 oh. I was like, and then so the Elias got pissed about that. Clearly, yeah. like, first of all, don't ever talk to my kid at all. Right. True. Don't just start, t- don't just start asking my kid questions that I've already told you yeah. the answer to. The only thing you say is have a fun time. <laughs> if I lied or not. Yeah. Right. If I lied or not. <laughs> don't go talking. Don't, don't think he about Elias the anyway. wrong way of, of this one. It was a stressful no, no, time, no. by the way. That was the reason we were Hold in on. Arizona. Hold on a second. Yeah. My mom, my sister was, has always been young looking and very petite. Uh, at Pizza Hut, if you were 12, like you ate for half price. Remember that yeah. shit? My you got to do what you got to do, man. My sister was like 16, bro. You're 12. To, if you're 12 right now, you're 12. Yeah. It happens. The fact that we were out there, we were struggling um, financially anyways. Like it was an expensive trip. Bro, dude, doesn't sound cheap. Yeah. And it, it, we didn't want to be out there. It was when my mom was out there. Right. So we were out there yeah, yeah. just, you know, just spending money <laughs> being there. And they were like, well, let's try to go to the dude. zoo. It was actually, it was it was Heather's birthday, actually, I remember. Oh, it was Heather's oh, birthday. Oh. Heather was feeling and good at the we zoo, we were going to go. As the first, it up in the flip flops yeah. or something. Dude, I thought you were going it, for a high five, and I totally it <laughs> escalated. I'm so pissed I missed it quickly that. and badly. <laughs> so you didn't even get in the zoo. Oh, we got in. We oh. went in, and then we got surrounded by people, dude. Huh. Like who? Like the security. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then were they wearing safari outfits? Like uh, some like, of them were. Like Steve, just a, but like Steve Irwin. Dude, it was bad. It was really, it was really weird. They were super aggressive. The lady was like, um, it's a maga. Chirping behind habitat. the whole time. Basically, long story short. Long story, long story, Apparently. very short. Me and him left. They kicked us out, called the cops, whatever. Our families were, <laughs> our families stayed. Yeah. Cops, bro. Yeah, we, were, we told the cops, like, whatever, you know? Yeah, they kicked us out. They were like, Prove so it. you for, for what? We don't, story ever. For what? We don't know. Because my kid doesn't have ID. Right. We paid m- hundreds of dollars to get in Sir, this stupid place. Sir, you said place. he was two. He's clearly seven. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally, it was February. I think his birthday was in December. So oh, it was close. Uh, it was, man. It was close. Oh, you're splitting I'm hairs lying. then. I'm lying you're, the whole That's time. what I'm saying. Yeah, you're, uh, no, dude, you're splitting hairs. The kid can't even talk. Right. And, and it was the end of the day, and they were still charging full price. Dang, that was tighter than Arizona's uh, Border Patrol. <laughs> oh. oh. Dude, it was, it was like a lot of, a lot of yelling. A lot. <laughs> We all were already stressed out too. So Dude, sometimes like, when I get in those off. in those modes, though, yeah. you know, when you're like, you just go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You, you yeah. come up with the funniest, worst stuff ever, and you just say it to mm-hmm. random strangers. Like, mm-hmm. 
You know, it's, it's bad. Dude. Fuck everybody. Hey, everyone's, yeah, everyone's fat. Everyone's fat. Everyone's yeah. dead. Who's here, you piece of shit? <laughs> Your job just sucks. Jake just Jake pulls out 20s. Like, I think we're more than everybody here. Fuck you. Uh, what became matter principle after that? We're like, you know, no, we're sticking to our guns on this one. You guys live in this hellhole stay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you guys. It's a, by the way, Scottsdale is amazing. Is amazing. It? Yeah. yeah. I would, I could live there. Amazing place. I like the, I love the desert. You feel so much better there. After like a couple days. Yeah, the air is really dry. Other yep. than scorpions, I think it'd be you think right. that, oh, But yeah. when it does rain, it, like everything floods because yep. everything's rock hard. Yeah, the ground doesn't know what to do. Yeah, it really doesn't. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's actually like, the best. Dis- <laughs> yeah, that was a great the, description the, there. The, Na- the Nashville Zoo, by the way. Amazing. Dirt, dirt's just like, nah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm drinking <laughs> as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the ground's just doing no, a thanks, keg- just a little bit. I just have one cactus here. Thanks. The ground's doing a keg stand and Mother Nature just keeps pumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Dude, the desert's wonderful. Like, somehow shit just grows there still. Yeah. Cactus? Really? Their leaves are like sharp needles. That's what they got Those out there? Those cactuses are pretty cool, and you don't really I realize that they don't grow everywhere. Have you seen a Joshua tree? I think so. Oh, it's like literally a porcupine tree, basically. Mm, that's maybe it, not up close. That's what it would look we like. We went through a nice drive. We went up to, like, kind of the mountains, you know, um, to see, like, an old mining town. Oh, that's cool. I love that. You, and it, it gets colder and snow, and all of a sudden- the um, cactuses are gone. Like, there's no more. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they yeah. just, they only grow at certain elevations. That's yeah, the one thing I cool. love about on vacation, man. I want to go see shit around the, I don't want to hang out at that place. Yeah. You oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to venture out. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's the best. Anyways, moving on. Uh, What else? Who are we going to talk about here? Jake, you had some um, fun things. I looked at, uh, Charlie, I looked through my telescope tonight because it was so beautiful out tonight. Okay. And the moon was Crystal clear. Tonight, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be red. Tomorrow's a full moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it might as well be full night. It was yeah. so bright, yep. came up perfectly. Me and, at it me the and uh, Mia went out and looked at it. Yeah, because she, she actually was like, "I want to look through the telescope." Clearly, it looks round, like right? it looks. I mean, it, it looks round. Of course, it could be flat round, but Stop. you know, it's certainly. It's not well, a we light. didn't. We didn't. He didn't say that he the moon was was, was he flat. It was translucent. He's, yeah, translucent. Which it's not. Dude, it was so bright. It was it was hurting my eyes through the um through the telescope. It was actually like too bright. You have a nice telescope, too. Well, it's take, pretty nice, yeah. That, that's the thing. That's, that's why the sun is, like, coming. It's going to hit both sides of the earth and go right onto it. And it's going to be a nice little shade of I red. To, it's going to be great. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. yeah, yeah tomorrow, yeah. was it called a blood moon or something? Yeah, pull out the, yeah, pull what out time? the telescope then. At, at nighttime, I guess. Yeah, but it only usually lasts, like, in the, usually not all night. Like, usually there's a, there's a live, up. um, there's a live uh, stream of it, so you'll know. You want to come over and look it's at fake. it come up it's over fake. the river? It's fake. Don't yeah, worry about it. Yeah, come watch it come up over Trent Hall. It is beautiful. Yeah. It's like, it's beautiful. What's tomorrow, Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tuesday. So, practice, yeah, we looked at Jupiter efforts. as well. Um, what can you see of Jupiter from there? You can see the moons of it. What? What are the, what are the, what are the like, Jupiter? Dude, Titan? I don't know, but you can um, literally see these little, these little three little things right around it that you cannot see with the naked eye. That's yeah. tight. But then when you look at it through the telescope, it, it just looks like a brighter dot, you know it's what just, I mean? It's like a star because the only reason you could see it is because of the sun hitting it. Yeah, like you can't actually discern any features about it when you look at it through right. a telescope, but, but you th- can see a little more, like the little planets around it, I guess. I mean, the, the, the moons. moons. Yeah. Right, right. Well, that's the whole reason. I mean, that... Uh, that's Which that, I've done before, by the way. It, this wasn't the first time I ever did yeah, this. I mean, why would I have that... a telescope. Why would that be a, a created light? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, he says that they created the moon as a light. Why would that so far away be created as a light? You know what I'm saying? Because all it's doing is reflecting the sun, just like the moon is. Just the moon is right on us, so we get light from it. Yeah. Why? I mean, why? Dude, I've been actually in actual, like, like. <laughs> it was it was a fun conversation. I've talked to Charlie a lot since then, and he's, uh, you know, he's a big fan of the show now. He's actually caught up on some episodes That's and stuff cool. like that. Yeah. A lot of his friends, like, were totally dug it. They were yeah. into it. I like me some Charlie. And, um, it, it was a good episode, and I, uh, Chet came up to me. He said, hey, I listened to your Flat Earth episode. Caught me, <laughs> he caught me in the I kitchen. Think Matt I told said, him. yeah, so uh, what do you think about that? And uh, no, he knew he was coming on. He He's like, you can't deal with those Flat Earthers, man. They got, like, <laughs> he's like, they got, a, they got an answer for everything. You, I mean, and it, not even a real answer. It's like they just kind of. They just say everything's fake, or I don't know. They have this different way of thinking it. And like once we had the interview, I was like, "God dang!" Like he's right. That's why we didn't even argue. It's just like he believes what he believes. And that's fine. It's totally well, fine. Uh, that's that's the, the same thing that he would say yep. about non. Is ar- you're just making it up. You An know? argument would just be bad listening. You have to establish True. some ground yeah. rules of what of what facts are yeah. first. And if you can't agree on those, and you really can't debate. That's true. You know what I mean? And that's any debate, anything. Yeah. You don't. If you're not even talking about the right. Like I was watching one of those ladder with Crowders yesterday. That guy's work. good, but 
In doses, in doses. Super corny yes. sometimes, right? Doses. Yeah. Yes. He's got his little cronies that laugh at him at everything yeah, he does. I, I, They're kind of annoying. I don't watch his podcast at all. I, I can't. Yes. Okay. But I watch the um, it's good stuff Prove Me much. Wrong or whatever. Oh, I love uh, those. Yeah, yeah. Change, change my, my mind. mind. Yeah. I watch those, and even those, you're like, wow, this is, some of these are annoying. But yeah, <laughs> dude, um, there was some crazy chick he had on. It said, rape they, culture is a myth. Prove me wrong. Were they talking, were they talking about, uh, like, did, did they end up talking about, like, the laws in Germany? Um, no. I watched him rip a chick about the laws in he Germany. He didn't really rip it. The chick was hysterical. She's like, I've been raped, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I saw that one. Rape sure. culture is a myth. But anyways, they couldn't even agree what on he, what, what rape culture is. What was he trying to say is. by that? That everybody's trying to rape everybody? Is that well, what rape culture at? is that, like, on college campuses yeah. and in corporate America and everywhere Mm-mm. that, you know. I think Brent believe, uh, agrees with that, actually, probably. What? That there's a, like there is a, there is a, uh, a male-dominated thing where you can just rape chicks, basically. No. Yeah. That's a big deal. And uh, she, she was trying to conflate sexual assault with rape, and he was like, well, no, we're not talking about sexual assault. That's bad, but that's not rape. Right. That's not rape culture. I mean, I don't even really know what rape culture is. Do you remember is that one guy the raped a chick lacrosse. behind the, the dumpster and, got, and, like, basically got off? He did I get off. He did. he did get off. Well, <laughs> uh, dumpster, yeah. like around bad here. Bad joke, bad joke. <laughs> don't listen to him, guys. <laughs> he did. That, that was, was a gross. Good joke. Fudge. <laughs> he got off twice. <laughs> oh no, he was definitely drunk. So I doubt rape it. joke. But um, mm. no, it was that kid that um, the blonde haired kid. He looks super good. Like somebody we know. Yeah. Like, no, it was it was oh. big. It was national news. He like raped her behind a dumpster. Some dude came running up and like stopped it, and then he got arrested, and he did like no time. It was crazy. Was that like the Duke fucking Well, the Duke team? was all fake. Yeah. And remember the Charlottesville, um, like Rolling Stone magazine or one of those magazines ran this big article about rape culture in this one frat in University of Virginia and just tarnished all these people for no reason. Yeah. Saying they made these girls walk across like broken glass, naked, crawling, and <laughs> this is crazy stuff. Jesus Christ, that's and torture. Was, that's not even like- It was so unfounded and, and, and it, that is rape culture. Like there's these frats there was just some running well. that got- he literally got his right life ruined because the chick was mad at him and uh, said that he raped yeah. her. That, Remember? That happens a lot. And then He lost his whole like his whole uh, I mean, college get, career. If you get accused of, 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 of stuff like that, you're you're guilty until proven innocent. It's backwards well, and it's it sucks. so they easy should, to get accused. The person that accused should get exactly what they were going to get. Oh, I agree. If, if it's you proven. Make All it takes oh, yeah. is one yeah. getting involved with the wrong woman right. one time. You, and think maybe, people, you think people piled on Cosby? Or do you think that was no, all legit? No, no, he was a rapist. No, I know he shit. was, but I'm saying, do you think there was others that piled on? No. That were like, let me get on this train here. Get a- yeah, like, <laughs> maybe. Like, if one time they had an encounter with them that he didn't, yeah. like, didn't really like, they yeah. probably just said, meh, he raped me too, you know? Well, I, think, I think on ca- college campuses, drinking is obviously, like, the problem, right? People get wasted. Yep. And I think these young they, chicks they get wasted, and so do the dudes. Yes. And then they have sex. And then they don't remember it, and then they want to literally start could fall rape. asleep in the middle of it, maybe. Yeah. And yeah. what happens if the guy doesn't stop? That's rape. Well, I'm saying that that's a thing that could happen. Well, if you the, if you're too drunk to give consent, then yeah. the, the, but she you, may you have to, yeah, she but, may have initiated it. It true, may have been yeah. going down. She may have been just so drunk and it, just passed out. He keeps going. That's rape, dude. It shouldn't happen. I'm saying, do, but like, do you agree? You with that? can't be already I mean, having I, sex and then cry rape. If you're you are already out, bro, sex. if you pass out, Jake. Yeah, but how are you going to know after that? I mean, unless you get pregnant or something. Because it's literally against you. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to press she charges? Could, she could stop it right there if she wanted to, but, but she no, has no choice now. But, but, yeah, but nobody's sober in that situation, so, I mean. Rape is when what? you find a woman you that. you over there? I thought I heard a noise. That was a weird noise. When you, when, when you, or I think of rape is when you have a woman that is completely uninterested in Hold you. On. You don't think what I'm and saying is rape. you force yourself on them. Right. That is rape. You are forcing to yourself on a lifeless a, a, body. A couple yeah, drunk but, in a room by yeah, themselves, but naked. Don't, yeah, but that. Naked. I'm yeah, but About that. to have sex, and then they have sex, and then one of them falls asleep. That's not rape. Jake. It's guys. not. It's, that's not even the definition I, of rape. I, I, I'm is. not saying you should. Someone is literally not, not even like in the game. Yeah, they, but they, they can't even say no. But I, the dude's I know, not sober. Well, okay. this, this, I'm this. saying you're saying they were having sex and the woman falls yeah, yeah. asleep. That's what I'm saying. What it's, a, it's, a, it's a very asleep. contradictory. Th- yeah, I think she would be raping him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's sick and it's it's wrong. But you're literally already having sex. <laughs> Jake, technically, yeah. <laughs> like it's not a new thing. You just fell asleep. <laughs> they're, they're, that, it's a sleeping body. That's not. It's disgusting and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> but who's going to press charges? The person that was sleeping. They're not going to know. They're passed out. 
<laughs> when they wake up and uh, maybe they got pregnant. That's the only way. Exactly. But is they, that were, right, they were they were having consensual right, sex. Yes, they no. were. They were. You could be in a relate. You could be married to someone and they can rape you. That's true. That's true. I <laughs> suppose. I suppose <laughs> that's true. It's, it's. I mean, that's like the whole no means no. Duh. But my. <laughs> Gloss over that real quick. <laughs> <What? Put> that <laughs> little... <laughs> to your point, though, Mike, I like that. To your point, though, if they're both hammered ass drunk, yes. right, and she just happens to pass out first, but it was started consensual. I'm with Jake. I don't see. I that. think that obviously that he should stop. If he's, but he's he's incoherent too. I would assume. Right. We're talking about two wasted people here. Right. Drunk yeah. in a college party. Yeah. That is a problem. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is not rape culture. And that, and I don't, you know, I don't think that's, I don't think he would Now you got to rely on that girl to, to tell that, to say that. This is what, this, this is, is how the court thing would go. Okay. Did you have consensual sex? Well, yes. Should we ask and Amanda? And then they would go, okay, well then. Should we ask Amanda what she thinks about literally that, just that scenario? Here's the answer. Tell your daughters, don't get drunk in college. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh and don't take or drinks ever. from strangers. Don't get drinks from strangers. And if you're, Oof. if you have a son, that's why you got to build. And a, I know all the women nah, are right Jake, now. Whatever Jake. the three women that listen to this are like, you're blaming it on the woman. Nah, Jake. No, okay, no, you no, tell no. your sons not to have sex with the girl either, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Jake, Jake, Jake. What you have to do is build up their tolerance while they're at home. Oh yeah, that too. And you teach them how to protect themselves and not some get in those situations. Just a little bit. Well, actually, what am I talking about? They're doing like bon- They're doing unreal. Yeah, to- unreal. <laughs> like they like. Yeah, they're doing things that you can't even no, remember. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can remember, but can't imagine anymore. They're still doing. I, I don't think I ever got blackout drunk though. I've only been blackout drunk twice in my life. Like you didn't remember how you got somewhere? Yeah. Come on. I never. I think that's like fake. No, it's not. <laughs> just twice. That is not true. Yes, it is. You like, remember how you got home from the, the Moose Lodge two weeks ago? Yeah, I drove. <laughs> Specifically, getting in your car yeah. and all that? I wasn't uh, that drunk. <laughs> well, have you ever done that more than twice? Uh, Where you were fine. Listen, you were fine when you did it, but you yeah. don't really remember all the details. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that's considered blacking out. Ah, Time that's warp. just fogging out. <laughs> oh, my God. Daddy, chill. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking, about like, out. I'm talking about, like, Blacked out, don't remember hours. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- that that is bad. That's bad. Where people like text you the next day, like, do you remember what you did and or said? And, and then, it, like, then it cut scenes and it's just. Oh! Then you, <laughs> <laughs> you spend like a month trying to piece the night together. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. I just hope I didn't do when nothing I stupid. Lived in Alexandria, I mean, I've said Atlanta. super stupid things, but I don't think I've ever been blackout drunk. I don't understand what's going on. Who I'm talking I did to? It, I definitely did it in college, uh, one or two, twice. Out? Dude, I remember, yeah, waking up in my bed. I did it on a ship one time. I woke oh, up ooh, with puke perfect. all over the room. What were you doing? Drinking beer in Germany or something. I don't know. How like, many beers? A lot. <laughs> and those heavy beers. You, true, you, you got to say, when you're a cadet and you're with professional semen drinkers, people yeah. that, <laughs> he doesn't like that. He did like that. Professional semen. I, I, I sailors. You're, you're with sailors slackers. overseas. Their whole deal is to get you wasted. Fuck that. And you cannot say no. It's part of the deal. And then you wake up on a ship drunk and, well, you know, you just wake up in the Blood morning. Hurts. And <laughs> so it that, feel, that did f- happen to a girl and she pressed, like, it recently happened. Oh. And Shipman X came out. Oh, yeah. Kind of turned uh, the industry up uh, on its head again. There's so many it rules and regulations. It does feel so much better when you throw up. When you just finally puke it all oh, out. Oh, man. It feel way better. We have, Every I, single time. We have a some, of those beers, are, some of those brutal. dark beers get in your head and you can't shake it. It's the worst headache you've ever had for a long time. We have a friend of the show Sorry. who I was Stuff drinking like with this past weekend at the Moose Lodge. Who were you at with the Moose? True. He might have puked on the floor at the Moose Lodge a little bit. <laughs> and then ran to the <laughs> bathroom. Went, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, took a, uh, he, took a va- he took a Vegas bomb. And, oh my and, God. And, and it... it, it did not stay down. He started. Did anybody see? I did. <laughs> Some shit started coming True. out of his mouth. It was, hey, I didn't, no names. True. No, no names. No True. names. You no said names. a former. I well, said a friend of the show. No a names. A friend of the show. And then. Some some shit dribbled out onto his shirt, and then he went boop, and like and then, and then, the, then you know when liquid hits a floor, it's like uh, <laughs> and then real quick bathroom. Uh, and then he came back and did another one and left and went home. That's <laughs> wild. Mm. See, I don't. I hate those big drinks. Like the the no shots that are like a lot of liquid is such a waste. They, and the way they were doing the bombs at the Moose Lodge, 
it was like a mug half it's like it was like half a red bull and the shot too like it was ridiculous. do you remember irish car bombs oh i i'll, I'll do i do a car bomb right Bruno. now did it chug a whole pint I love a car bomb. That's way too much. You got to finish it before the Bailey's Colonels. Yeah, so gross. That's that's gross. I love a car bomb. I'll tell you. I like sake bombs too. You know how Jake never had one. I like sake. I know. I know you hate this, and so do I. And that's like going to the bathroom loudly, and everybody can hear you that you're with like like yeah, a, like if you're with like a party of people in the same house, same hotel room. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not good. So I I got wasted. You gotta go to the lobby at Saint on Saint Patty's Day one time off of Guinness. Completely, oh, no. God, sh- I mean, drank the most Guinness I've ever drank Guinness in my life. Is technically a light beer too. So it you is, drink all yeah, the but it's got other stuff that gives you hangovers, right. See, not alcohol. Craft beer does that to me too. It's not yeah. the alcohol content; it's all the other bullshit. Yeah, I agree. It, it is. Yeah. It's the stuff floating around in it. <laughs> so all of us, there's four of us that went back. Antonio and his girl, me and Amanda. So we go to the same room, literally beds across from each other like this yeah. and everything. They got to do that when you're young. Yeah. You got to save dude, money up. Had to. Yeah, it's way too much for and a hotel. I probably t- you probably know this story, but I'm going to just finish it. All I-, I went to the bathroom and I was like, I got to puke. Oh no, I have to poop. <laughs> and I'm going poop first because oh, no. I'm like, I can just throw it to my legs if yeah. I need to. Yep. <laughs> oh, I do remember the story. It's Why don't so you just gross. lean over to the pot, the, the top? I know. It was, it was on the other side of the room. Can. Oh, it was on the other no. side of the room there. Dude, but I thought I had time. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no, I, I, I just lied because I definitely thought I was going to throw it through my legs. The and so I was, I'm like going shit. And I'm like trying to be quiet about it, but it's like not quiet <laughs> at that. all. And I'm like, here comes the puke now. You better hurry. And I, I, I can't stand up now. So I go to puke and your, your throat is like a hose. So when it's kinked, it's not going to stay kinked and stuff's going to. So I just went. <laughs> and it went all over the wall in front of me, dude. Black. Nothing, nothing went down here. Black like, it was Red, disgusting. probably. I cleaned up the entire place, dude. Went to bed, pissed myself in bed, got out, got a towel, and wrapped it around me and just laid back in bed. Just laid back. That was my one night on Guinness. Oh, my God. And I've never been like that, ever. A man was just sleeping next to me, dude, pissed. Jacob, <laughs> I haven't had a glass of wine since Lorraine. Wow, really? When that was, I heard about we that. We did get hammered. <laughs> you got hammered time. Well, we were me both. And, I mean, we were just me pow- and Jess yeah. were hammered when we yeah. got there to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was when y'all tried to go back to the hot tub and didn't work, huh? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> didn't y'all go back to the hot tub or something? But <laughs> no, yeah, you, we're just, you were too just drunk. like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that, that's what. Dude, I, mean. I don't think you're supposed to be drunk inside of a hot tub. You're not. So that's one of my stories about being blacked out. Me and one of my friends cook your organs in there, dude. Yeah. We drank in the hot tub. We were at we went skiing Ooh. and we had a uh, little house up there. Me and Heather, him and his wife, just way before we had kids. You we almost Aaron was, Carter'd, dude. Maybe, maybe yeah. I did. I uh, I woke up. Well, I didn't wake up. Heather woke me up because I was wow. throwing up wow. all over her and everywhere else in the room. Just walk <laughs> around like, like in bed. <laughs> Black, <laughs> dude, blacked out. <laughs> we, were, we we drank we drank a whole uh, bottle of um That's Seagram silly. Seven. Oh, the what whole are you, damn 60? thing. No, that's that's a bit weird. Seagram seven. Se- seven seven. That was something my bit. It was like two thousand eight. Remember my bassist uh, Jim Noble? He started always oh, that. Yeah, because he's it was like five years old. Yeah, he was fifty five. <laughs> no, I think I went through a little phase with drinking that stuff. Ew. Yeah, like a normal. That's that Dude, was the drink. Seven, seven and seven, so right? Gross. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, seven seven. Is it well, it was good? seven and seven up. Seven and uh, seven. We yeah. drank it with ginger ale, and then I think we just drank ba- pretty much the whole bottle with two people. And I think we we're in the oh, so it's just like two whiskey or three. ginger. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Seven, you probably oh, I get this all the time. Yeah, it's Seven whiskey ginger. It's just a bl- blended whiskey. It's but Seagram's. It's trash. Yeah, but you know, I didn't know it was trash. I didn't know. You know uh, I yeah, know. I thought it was good. It's spending dollars. Here. I know it's trash now, and I'd still probably get it. Yeah, but um, man, I woke, I went to bed, probably way overheated, drunk as can be, and that was a bad night and a bad next day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. It was a bad one. Woke me up. I was puking. Did you get sick? Yeah, I was throwing up everywhere. I hate puking. like not for a while though. From I'm just talking no, like, like in the middle of the night, like it, three in the morning. You weren't like fucked no, up. No, I went to bed. I like, passed out. You know, in bed, and then woke oh, up. I, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's my drunk story. That must be yours. And mm. yours, the that's wine. Bad. The wine was pretty bad. Not my drunk story. No, no, no. I was. Did you fights at all when you were on the wine? The wine's a fun drunk. No, it's a fun, yeah. uh, drink. Yeah, 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 drunk, yeah. drunk, drunk. We, yeah, uh, fun drink. No, just me and Jess hit like five five vineyards and a brewery that day. Uh, yeah, and I remember. Met back up with them at a brewery. At a vineyard so funny because that to. is the same day we went to the zoo thing. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird how it all came together. Oh, that zoo. <laughs> we was... were in Luray the same time they were in Luray. Mm. And then like we met up with Jake and Heather, and me and Jake sat there and drank two bottles of wine. Yeah, together. oh, that's easy. Shard. But Great. you will get fucked I love, up. I love a good 
cheese. Steel aged Chardonnay. Yeah. But I haven't had wine since what was that? I mean, April. We have a subscription. We drink um, it all the time. That's there's, good. there's been a few times where you take a sip and it's like it comes up almost immediately. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm about I ready. Love the wine. I, look, I want the weather to break so I can like cook me a fancy steak. It's with breaking a nice tonight. Bottle, nice, nice bottle of Merlot. Merlot. Yeah. Today was the last greatest day of the year. Dude, probably. it's gonna be 70 degrees on Thursday and Friday. No. Y- you know what? Friday's I'm gonna buy. Supposed to rain. It's 60. No, they're calling for 69 by the end of the week. Oh. It's about to get colder. The um, I want it to. God damn it! I want to get that that steel Sucks. pizza cooker at Lowe's. Have you seen that yet? Yes. Oh, we put it it's out. It's too much ooh, dang ooh, money, right? Ovo or something? Yeah. It's yeah. too much money. It's like three hundred bucks, dude. And I'm like, I look at it all the time. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't do that. That's too much money. It's too much money. That's too it's much stupid. money. How many nobody things do you that, need to cook one? Nobody eats that much pizza either. It's a little steel thing they bang together and, and bolted together. You'd and never eat that much pizza. Yeah. You, what but you need what you is did. what you do need is um. There's a little kit you can buy and you build it. Nope. 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 What? Nope. The it's guy, a fireplace. A guy at work did that. Yeah. I've seen them. I've had pizza out of them. Yeah. They're excellent. No, I know, but you but literally like, have to set that up all day. It takes all day to- No, you, you leave it hours. there. It's like a fire pit. Yeah, yeah. You leave it. But and you it's to, your you, fire you pit. Better, and you can also cook yep. on it if you want. You need to cook literally like eight pizzas. You know, you gotta have a party. Everyone's gotta come over just to like be worth like setting yeah. that thing up all day and- well, I'm saying you leave it out, like on your deck. <laughs> what, you have pizza all day by yourself? That's what I'm no, saying. No, no. It's like it's your- permanent It's also structure. your fire pit. It looks like a chim- I'm talking chimney. About the fire itself. Chimney. Yeah, chimney. I, it looks no, like a chimney. No, no. I, I, I'm a not talking slot. about the structure. I'm talking about getting it hot enough to cook the pizza correctly. It's, it's, a, it's just, a process. Just, a well, big process. Okay. Just throw wood in it, what, Yeah, like, I'm talking about basically a fire under pizza. It's the same thing that I'm talking yeah, like about. Yeah, like it gets pretty hot pretty quick. Uh, Jake's got this full on Elvis thing going on with his hair that's pissing me <laughs> off. Coming down the middle here. I'm not doing it. No, no, no. There's nothing in my hair. I'm getting a haircut this week, probably. Oh my God, it's hard to fit. T- it's hard to fit in a haircut. Yeah, he doesn't get it. I know he thinks like we have more time than we do. Like I, a, a haircut takes thirty minutes. <laughs> Dude, that's hard to find sometimes. I don't have it tomorrow. I can't do it. Tomorrow I'm going he to work all day. Crazy. I know. When I, I, used to work, think the, I used to think the same thing about Tonio. I I was always like bullshit when he was like, <laughs> I just don't have time. I'm like bullshit. I mean, it's a work thing. So like, you um, could have time, but you'd have to leave your kid. You know, for a while. And, and Tomorrow's work. Just and happen. then there's voting. And then I have to oh, get yeah. Sonny from uh, Mia's doing dance class. I have to go get them. And then I'll. And then it's too late at that point. It's closed or whatever. I voted. I went early. Good job, bud. Who'd you vote for? For Ta- what? Everything. Palombia. Right uh, there was a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Who'd you vote <laughs> for for governor? Uh, The black guy. You did not. Yes, I did. You did not. The Republican's a crazy person. No, he's not. He's a psychopath. Have you read? Okay, we need to pull up some stuff up on the computer. Stu- I, I do. I'll pull up right here. I do. Go you to Westmore. I cannot believe that, Brent. More for governor. Are you insane? Did you read what he cares about? It ain't uh, you. Uh, who do you want to see the, the- Westmore. Oh, uh, Westmore. Westmore. And oh, gonna, you want to see his- I want to see his page. Pull, it- pull up his page and go to the going, issues. He's going to make a fine go governor. To the- no, he is not. The well, guy is, is terrible. Well, you know- First of all, he's racist. Come on, the man. most racist. Come on. Man. I'm about to prove it. <laughs> he proves it. He has it on his thing. Political. That guy is trash. Dude, political stuff can be skewed. Every, I, I, he's the one that wrote it on. I mean, I, I don't know who it is. He's, he is serious about climate change and will bring Maryland into the future of clean energy. We already are in the future of clean energy, uh-huh. but w- he's going to do it, I'm sure, because he knows a lot oh, about God. it. It's kind of hard. Click his, on issues. I know. It, this is you, dude, healthcare. You, you, West will work to ensure our healthcare systems provide effective and affordable services. Keep, to keep the, scrolling. You'll see, one, <laughs> you'll see one particular one that I think is so ridiculous to have as a main seniors? Nope. Uh, disabilities? Nope. Uh, healthcare, uh, protecting uh, reproductive rights? Uh, that's stupid, but. West recognizes that all Marylanders deserve the autonomy to make their. And it says yeah, dot, just, dot, dot, not not the ones. On that? No, not that one. <laughs> we get we get that one. We don't need to like we don't need to hash that one out. You don't care about the little ones. <laughs> As a combat veteran and former army captain, West cares deeply punk. about Maryland's veterans. Why? why he's, a uh, <laughs> he's a chump. He's just trash. <laughs> Unions, uh, labor unions are good for our economy and have an equalizing power in the labor market. Wrong. Next. Civil rights <laughs> and social justice. Yeah, read that one. That's a bad one. When Wes talks about equity and equity. social justice, you know, he's we don't speaking use to his lived anymore. realities. Yeah, his lived realities of being an army captain and having a per- running for governor and going to win. <laughs> it's really tough. 
education as Governor West will fight to deliver every Maryland child a world-class public school education. What does he need? More money? Doesn't matter. Doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? People, yeah. They pay attention or they don't. The grades are what they are. You're not fixing the kids unless I you agree. fix the areas. You can't put more money into it. Yeah, what it are you going to do? You, you that, get a, that's his plan, though. Put more money into it. You get a better teacher in front of all of them just to get fucking shit thrown at them and like they're talking anyways and on their phone the whole time. The like, schools are fucked. Uh, for Wes Moore and Aruna Mil- Miller, the American immigrant's story is personal. M- Whatever. They want to integrate immigrant communities. Okay. Well, they're already integrated. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? Uh, LGBTQ. Great. I don't know why that Marylanders has to be deserve able, but... a governor who will fight for their rights. And what rights? Sti- hate can you name one right that every person have? can thrive? What's one right that one, one person that is gay does not have? I don't one. Know. I don't know. Yeah, there isn't any. Actually, they're protected Gender class. Gender equality. Building a more equitable future where every Mar- again every Marylander can thrive. It's you know it's about equity though, mm-hmm. not equality. Equity is a very different thing. Very different thing. Unlocking opportunities for Black families. Wes has a bold. Okay, pl- this is the one. Wes has a bold plan to increase work, wages, and wealth for Black families. All right. Well, now replace go, the word Black. In? Read the whole thing. It just replace the word Black with white. Oh, <laughs> and, and then tell me if it sounds racist if you do that. You, you want me to? Want me to do it? Just read the issue part. The, yeah, yeah, sure. It'll be sound funny. Okay. Or Mexican or Latina or anything. Pick, pick a race. I don't care. Well, it does say in Maryland, the average white family has eight times the wealth of an average black family. The average black worker makes seventy-one cents to the white worker's dollar. It, you have to be an absolute imbecile to believe that. The way it's written. That's kind of that's. that's you know that it's. It's got to be misleading. It's like where you were at in the field. Skip those two statements and read the rest. See what it has. This bold action plans to unlock economic opportunity for white families. That you want to say? Yeah, be funny. Okay, for white families in Maryland, (laughs) seeks to both meet the urgent needs that families across the state are facing and move Maryland toward the kind of generational change that addresses the generational challenges that got us to the state of fragility and disparity. Through this plan, we sought to build on the critical work that Speaker Adrienne Jones retailed in her racial and economic justice agenda, which Wes worked closely to help develop. It doesn't say black much. Nah, I'm didn't. getting to I'm Those getting words to. make me sick, though. Racial and <laughs> yeah, equity. Yeah, yeah. and uh, w- w- he, he said we're in a state of fragility? Yes. Due to what again? Uh, generational this and generational uh, that? This paper, uh, but you could bring up, who I don't even, I forget, it was Cox, right? Yeah. You can bring his shit up. And, <laughs> yeah, we you know you love bigging that and up. Beat it and, and, and Cox. <laughs> you can, but it will not be racist. I guarantee you. Okay. It not, will not have a thing that is literally based on the skin color of of people. Right, that but, is but racism. When he says black, in a nutshell, he, it, it's gonna it's better. It means everybody. anti-white is what it no, means. It it, yes, it does. No, He's literally does trying not. to make things better for black people. It at, just means that he's focused what, more. On well, black. Yeah. How does that help me as so, a voter? Yeah. Right. If this you change is, the words, I'm like he's listen, just more focused on it. Well, if I ever run, I think yeah. I, uh, look, there's a certain there's a certain amount of pandering that goes on for both all all sides, right? That so, is the worst, though. Okay, here you go. Come on, here you go. That is not the, that, that, that that's that way worse than anything Dan Cox. Is not the worst thing I've ever heard. This bold it's plan, bad. this bold plan focuses on tools to give Black families in Amer- in Maryland increased access to work that imparts dignity and career options, wages that you can raise your family on, and wealth that imparts stability for families and allows fa- uh, people to pass on something other than debt to their children. Why is that not for everybody though? I, that's what I'm saying. Like that's a, first of all, a great that's plan. A great Second plan of all, they are, they are they are only doing this at the expense of others. The passing on your wealth to, you, you, that's how you create generational wealth, right? Like you get right. stuff from your parents, you pass it on if you don't screw it up. Right. All these politicians are against that because they think it's created some sort of gap, which, okay, they say black people got a later start. Okay, maybe that's true. But if you take that away now, how are black people going to create generational wealth? You know what I mean? I don't know, it's black. so short sighted and so stupid. It really the comes- answer is it doesn't matter what color you are. At all, there is no color. It really comes down to just education from the get go, and and, and parents, of. no, and parents that support them and push them. That that that's that's more important and than anything. Parents, yeah, parents, parents well, is more important. State education to me at this point is is fa- <laughs> failed. It's failed. It's gonna keep failing. We have people that can't even like read and write, dude. I don't know who. I don't know who is still like going into the career, uh, going into a career of being a teacher, like. Educational. But I think like, down here, I that's think rough. In the inner, the inner cities like, have no chance. I I, let's not bring up like the exact incident, but I sent y'all what happened at Jess's mm-hmm, school mm-hmm. last week. That happens all the time. It's not a good place for your kids. It's not a good Fucking learning environment. How is that a good learning? It, how is that a good learning environment? It's not. It's not. If I had, if I had kids and could afford it, private school or homeschool. Uh, that's you what fi- we're doing. You, you figure it out. Yeah. You have to figure it out. 
I'm a, I, 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 everyone's in different positions. Yes, you course. have to make decisions and you have to make sacrifices. Yeah. It's hard not to sound judgmental when you say it. It's right. really hard. No, I understand that. And most of my friends and family members have kids that go to public school. And most of the public schools down here have good teachers. They do. Right. But that curriculum is trash. Is it? A lot of the other kids are trash. Yeah. I don't, see, I don't, I don't have skin in the game, so I don't really pay attention to the school yeah, curriculum. Yeah, it's bad. It, takes, it does take work from the parents. I mean, you got to clear that brush out of the way to, to create a path for your kid to succeed in. And, like, or else they're just wandering in the, in the fucking woods. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. And think about it like this. Do you really want- to be there first. Your kids' formidable years where they're really learning how to be a person. Right. You want that to be fully from the state, you know? Like, the state being big government, <laughs> government, whatever. Right. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think you want the state running any part of your, well, your I mean, kids' they're, they're, rearing and upbringing. I mean, the curriculum is a curriculum is a curriculum, but they, nah. they, they only spend half their day at school. Not really. The rest it's of the morning well, till, you know... Well, Okay, it's an eight-hour day. I get, I get it. And then they got to sleep. But what I'm saying is, is you know, well, to Mike's, what Mike said, there's a lot of time at home that needs to be nurtured, too. They, they and that's not just... That and, and, and you're that supposed that to be one with the school, like pushing them to do what the school... That's not just black communities. That's, that, I mean, well, that's that happens in white, too. too. Yeah, oh, it happens yeah. in white ones, too, where they're not there. Oh, all they're the too busy doing whatever, but they are not there. Well, they're busy trying to keep up with everyone else. Everyone, and everyone else, has to have two jobs now to pay for all the stuff. And, they want. You know, it's it's right. nonstop. It, it just keeps materialism. Yeah, it builds up. yeah, I agree. The state of uh, state of it all sucks. And wh- okay, and so when you th- become a single parent as well, sorry to cut you off. When you become a single parent as well, you're trying to get back in the game of dating as well. So you have to like keep up with the Joneses you know, and keep up with your parents and keep up with what you have and your car. That's and, why like, Americans and are in then, credit card debt up to their ass, you know. And then forever. you gotta keep up with your tires are bad and like yeah. your your car is making funny noises. And it's like I gotta take care of this kid. Now you're kind of mad at this kid because it's taking all your money. <laughs> <laughs> we well, just like, sent it right to school. Like, oh like, yeah, but I see it. the kids. I mean, honestly, I don't know how you do it. People that are doing it, don't take this judgmental. When I'm driving to work in the morning, I see these parents out there with these little kids, putting them on some bus to drive away. I can't see myself doing that. With can you see? I mean, putting we, we did it later on in life, but yeah, it's it's tough to send your little tot like. Yeah, well, I'm talking like four year old like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, putting him on a bus with strangers. If it's all you to got go, to do, then you, yeah, dude, people are bad, and you're like, you like, gotta like, protect your kids. Like, who is this? Uh, who's driving? Like, like, do you know who's driving? Yeah, I loved my bus driver, bro. She was my bus driver from it. start to finish. Most but do we know most, who's most of it's good, dude. But all it takes is one little incident to ruin your kid for life. One oh. bad day for that you know bus I mean? driver, like, you know? Like, one bad day where it's like she's literally on an edge. Well, I'm talking about something like a little more devious, you know? Like, there's a predator out there or oh. something. But uh, I don't. I was like, thinking more like she's having a terrible day. She has to deal with kids, and she's yeah. not a teacher. She's not trained in it, or he. They're not trained in, in dealing with that, and suddenly they're having a bad day because of, you know, their wife left them or their husband <laughs> left them, and they got to deal with kids that are just all being assholes. And so, yeah, that could be that could be that definitely be something. Then they start speeding a little bit, shaking them up in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Take a turn a little sharp. Back. Yeah, 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 suck it, Shane. I mean, we got to deal with that on the bus. But um, Oh, yeah. Back to the governor. For me. If I'm I'm supposed to legitimately look at this dude, like I can, you know, theoretically vote for him, right? Yes. When he's putting stuff out there that is so far, so far against what I even think is normal, there's then, pro, there's then pros I and can't. cons to every candidate, right? You know, sure. his candidates involve like literally stripping people of their rights. I know that's what they say about the right. Oh, the right, uh, right to abortion, right to I think that's the only right, right to gay marriage, right to whatever they call those rights and stuff like that. Um, okay. I get how that could be old fashioned, but when you're talking about taxing someone's land and their 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 inheritance that they're trying to give to their kids and stuff like that, do we that really is need more taxes? Life. Well, that's all that guy's gonna do. All that stuff he says comes to some massive price. Oh, massive price! But uh, that's every fucking politician, though. It's not. It's and, not. Politics matter. And, would you Would you have rather lived in California or Florida at the during, beginning of COVID? I mean, politics dude, I don't matter, want, I don't dude, and I hate that they matter. There's not a there's not a political like answer to every question. Right. There and was a there was a we don't meme want that be. said like remember who took away the work. Remember when you go to vote. It was like super harsh. Like remember who took away your jobs. Remember who t- kept you out of the hospital when your baby was born. Remember who. Right. It was all this crazy shit. Like I get what they were going at, but it was a little like it was a little weird. It's in the beginning, uh, there was a lot of people we, that we heard of in, now in Italy dude, and stuff now. like that that were dying. They were really dying. Over and over. So going off of that, 
Yes, it, it was it was warranted, but like yeah, it went on but too you long. Know it went on too long. Congress came out with a report. Yep, that said that it came from a, a lab. It was a lab leak. We, it, which, dude, which was, we all said that. I know, but you were basically told you were a complete conspiracy yeah. theory yeah. freak if you said that. You, you it's think now that they, been confirmed in the U.S. government. You think they 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 just fucked up? Right? They knew that the whole and time. they were like, oh shit, we yeah. Yeah, oh. I do. Or someone needs to pay for the lives, bro. Or they did it on purpose. A lot of people died. Thin like the, thin the herd. I don't even know. I don't I even think. think I, absolutely, I think. I don't think. I think they knew it wasn't that bad. Jake, when people believe enough, and 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 we are, it didn't we, thin the herd. When no, we, the numbers weren't that. But Jake, but Jake, I mean, they didn't they were, know. They, they, they didn't staggering. know what was going to happen. I mean, they did pretty well in Italy. <laughs> I think they did know that it wasn't that bad. But they were testing it out. They were testing out. The, the lockdown they measures. They want to wipe out everybody. The, ne- the next big lockdown that's coming is going to be in for the sake of the planet, yeah. like a climate lockdown. I saw it more so as wiping out unhealthy people. Just getting them out of the way, like getting it, it out. It didn't even do that. Nobody Jake, died. I, Jake, it doesn't always work out as planned. You know what I'm saying? Like they tr- I think it did work as, okay, I, I get what you're saying. Yes. And I completely, with, with if, if that was the point. It's going to help a lot of, of, of debt. It's going to help a lot of uh, healthcare issues. It's going to help get people out of the way. Yeah, but the, it overloaded the hospital. So it was like the opposite. I know they want them to die I, though. See, I don't think so. Um, personally, that's that's a fine and take the US on it. Have been I, I think out big I time. think that um, right, dude. Every single newspaper in the world was using the same exact words, yeah, like I abundance of caution and just the same stuff. Like they got the talking points from like on high, trickled down through the World Health Organization. That usually, isn't that usually what happens though? Because they all work for no, like, there's supposed to be different like, independent like, journalists. I said, like I, you know, I said two different. There's like three different like actual news organizations that just push it down through all the local news outlets, right? The AP. It, yeah. But but like, yeah, you can't just take that and repeat it. You have to go do some investigative journalism. Right. Like you have to. That's what journalism. Well, they're is. all working from home, Jake. <laughs> yeah. Right where we wanted them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Gosh. know. Yeah, the COVID thing, dude. Sucks. So the real Anthony Fauci, that book that I read, um, that's written by Robert Kennedy Jr., who is Weird. JFK's nephew. Oh, I thought it was. And um, he made, he turned, for people that don't want to read it, he turned it into a documentary, and it is freaking good. Is it? It's worth watching. I don't know that it's come out yet. I, I've seen it because I got, like, I was on an email list or whatever. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, my God. I was. That's the problem with documentaries. Though. I want to see it. They can literally, they can change your mind on a lot. Of, they well, can this make will, you believe. If you watch it, it will change your mind. They can make you believe a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah. And, I, and Candace Owens has one out. This, dude, Robert F. Kennedy is, like, a hardcore liberal his whole life he's a kennedy yeah they're right all, they're, you know and he he democrats but he has a um but he's he's been against like he has a thing called child defense fund or whatever child health i don't know what it is but a lot of his uh he he basically took on you know big pharma a couple years ago and he's been working on that ever since do you know that uh john f kennedy's mm. sister was lobotomized yep that's weird yeah I mean, that's a gross thing that they People used to were, do. Like, that's like who thought that was? It was just relieving the pressure, that, right? They, they, Mr. Lobotomy. The doctor that invented it, they got the Nobel Prize for inventing it. But he killed so it. many people. He killed or made them mental. Well, they, yes. They, they went up your nose and poked two holes back. You like, bop, bop, here. It literally took five minutes. Yep. Have you ever seen it happen? Yeah, I, I watched the documentary on it. it yeah. It's sick. It's wild. Five. People would come in in the afternoon, go out, and then they, they, basically they, zombies for yep, the rest of their life. Yep, they're just... they're. Yeah. Basically, t- uh, grown grown people with uh, two year old brains. Yep. <laughs> no pressure though. That's Lobotomy. I, I think is that still around? No, they they didn't outlaw it till the sixties. Yeah, I knew it was kind of no, like I mean, way no, late. Think about those poor people, bro. Yeah, yeah, sixties. Those poor people that actually had it done. The dude was doing like fifty a day or something. Yeah, dude, just cranking them out. All those people, and it, he stuck that like needle in, it and they would hammer oh, it. Yep. That's it. Poke a hole right in your head. Yep, right in your skull. What the fuck? Right, you you, you've never seen it, Sarah Bell. I mean, yeah, I remember. I remember what what. It's just I didn't know about the hammering part. Like, yeah, yeah it, took, it, took like, it took like a big <laughs> spike and just, yeah, it's basically a spike up your nose. That's what they heard. That loud ass noise just did. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, I mean, if you were if you were like it fixed them. If you were like, just like if you were like a hyperactive kid in the thirties, guess what? Guess what? Lobotomy. Yeah. So so the, the hold on. Yeah, go ahead. The accepted science is never accepted. Is, right. is what I'm trying to get at. Oh, sh- dude. I you fully, should be skeptical of everything. I fully agree with you that the COVID stuff was way overblown. We all know that now. We all know now. It was all that's why. That's on why. Purpose. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm 
done with boosters. I'm not getting. Yeah, but we knew it. But we knew it then. You know, I knew it then. Dude, well, the first two weeks were like, all right, maybe there's something to this. But then it's like, wait a I second. I gave it a lot longer. Wait than a second. Most you did. can sit down and you can do this. And like, oh, it, Walmart's fine and Lowe's is fine. But like, mom and pop short stores aren't. Like, all of a sudden, you started to see like, there's no rhyme or reason to what's going on here. They were trying. It's a money grab. It's a big money shift from the regular people to the, the big people. And they took billions it, of dollars. It started in the 1880s. And the, uh, the Swedes started it, the Swiss. Mm -hmm. uh, as a supervisor of an asylum looking for ways to subdue overactive patients, uh, he removed parts of the brain cortex of a few patients suffering from auditory hallucinations and other symptoms of what would be later identified as schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. <laughs> Following the surgeries, one patient died and another committed suicide, but others were pacified. <laughs> yeah. Literally pacified. Imagine like it had to work mind. a little bit on somebody, right? Like somebody. Exactly. It was like, oh, okay, I mean? there we go. So there is. A, Could have all a, been screwed there's up. There's a full grown man, uh, a super. Like he's an old guy. He was like one of the last people to get one, and he's like, just fine. He might be like a little dumb, but he's like fine. Uh, not everyone followed what he did, though. Uh, a lobotomy truly gained traction starting in 1935. When two American scientists removed the frontal lobes of chimpanzees, and in the same year, Portuguese, uh, Portuguese neurophysician Antonio whatever performed the operation on a human. Ugh, that poor guy. Like, we're making atomic bombs at the same time. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, this is cutting edge science. And or, banging or, out a big yeah. part of their head. Because they thought it worked. Skull. Uh, for Very archaic. We do stuff now that's like chemotherapy. You know, like, we do stuff too that's really stupid. Like focused freaking uh, radiation, radiation yeah. is hard. Ugh. It's Ugh. just as it's just as gnarly. I got a zero for you. Shoot it. Try to say all this. So, I was thinking about how much money we spent directly spent supporting the war on terror okay. since nine eleven. Since nine eleven. Oh yeah. My God. Well, twenty years. Put that way. From nine eleven, yeah, to when we left Afghanistan in twenty twenty one. Um, plus there's some other costs still trickling in. Obviously we have stuff in, we have stuff all over the Middle East still. Yeah. But the number that I read from a Brown, um, college group that does like, you know, basically how, how much this war costs, like sort of think group thing. If you want to guess, uh, what it cost, 20 years, direct costs that they can link directly to the war on terror three, in three 20 years. Trillion. I was gonna. Ridiculous. I was gonna say like a a trillion and a half. Eight trillion dollars. Wow. Eight. Oh my. Eight think trillion. About that. So I did think about it while I was driving over here. It's exactly <laughs> okay. what I did, and okay. I was trying to put a little math that, to yeah, it. Yeah. What would that? So eight trillion divided by twenty years, mm -hmm. I believe, is four hundred billion per year. E per year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which equals, we'll just call it divide by three sixty five. It's over one billion dollars per day. Yeah. Oh, you know how much a billion is? For 20 years. One billion dollar a day, you could give 100,000 people, excuse me, you could give 10,000 people every a single day $100,000. For a million dollars. No, no, for no, a billion. A billion. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could get a billion dollars. Yeah. You could give 10,000 people every day random lottery. <laughs> That's silly. Instead of going to war. Yeah, yeah. $100,000 for 20 years but you straight. you got to generate that money, Jake. With war. But see, that's where the Federal Reserve comes in because you can't have war without a money printing press because, you right. know, people get tired of war and they vote, they vote it out. We're, like, we're not going to spend our tax money on that. <laughs> they go, don't worry about that. You'll pay for it through inflation <laughs> later, which we are now and which we have been. But that's another topic for another time. But 20 years straight, that's 70 million people. Could have got 100 grand. Could have got 100 grand. That's tight. And there's only 330 million. They get a good chance. You get a one in like, like four, four chance. Four and a half, yeah. Somebody in your family would have got it. Mm. And now if we just took it and made it like only taxpayers get it, now you're like definitely, <laughs> I did definitely have, in the running. <laughs> that was a that was a crazier idea. That's that's well, so, the eight trillion is the number. I totally. Didn't I came up with the rest that. just to eight, see kind of like trillion. what it would be, and y'all can check my math. But I'm pretty sure it's right. Well, how <laughs> much have we sent to the Ukraine in the last nine months? A couple I hundred mean, billion. <laughs> yeah, nothing compared to what that was, but yeah. I mean, but that's just been a couple months. And and what is that accomplishing? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not on the, I don't have boots on the ground. I don't even know what's going on over there, dude. Is there, are they, is there well, a war going on? They stopped covering it. They, they, they moved on. Yeah. There's no one cares. There, there, there's, you know, another shooting somewhere that they got to cover. And the, the news cycle, the 24 hour news like cycle is 
that and social media is, man, ruin the world. I agree. I do agree. Yeah. What do you think um, about Elon Musk and Twitter and all that? I I don't actually know. I don't know. I, thought, I feel like he's just master trolling everybody right now. Too like much money sh- to troll. The shit he's saying right now is so funny. I don't know enough about it, but I do know he, he fired a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, and then found a loophole in their contracts not to pay. Like, they had buyout clauses yeah. for getting fired. <laughs> and then he found, like, these loopholes to not pay them. Like, the CEO that he fired was supposed to get, like, $42 million out the door, and he he figured out no way not to pay him. Well, they're going to be in well, lawsuits. Like, the they're going to be in ever. lawsuits forever, too, probably. He'll oh. get some settlement. But I don't really know. I don't really care. I mean, I do care because if he... I don't use Twitter. I never have, and I never will. Right. But if I, if if we're going to have a free speech platform, I guess right, he's better than what they had. Of course, now he'll just do what he wants to do. Right, and know? he is. But people are still waiting for him to unban a few people, and I don't think and everyone gonna... thinks like he's the darling of the right or whatever. But he was a left, like he's a left dude until no, recently. He, he tweeted about that last week. He's like, Did he? he's like, everybody hates me now, and it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, his cars are pretty cool, but they ain't that great. He's a smart dude. He's got a lot going on. Oh, he's look at my zero dude here. You're looking at your zero. I had a a bunch, like a whole photo album full of zero ideas, and I think I deleted them so so my iCloud could sync my photos, which it never did. It tells me every <laughs> freaking day. Backup failed. I had one more Has zero it for you. Up. Yeah, give me another one. All right, Kyrie Irving. Oh, do you see the list of shit that the Nets that's are what I'm going to read? Do? That's my zero. It's not really zero, but that's what I'm about to read. This is unbelievable. Okay. This is a basketball player who has an opinion. And they're and telling him he's not fit to play basketball. Did he say anything that outrageous? I don't know what he said, so okay, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be ignorant. Okay. There's, I, a, there's, a, movie, there, yep, there's a movie coming out that's basically, it's called Black Hebrew to Negro Wake Up or something like right, that. Right. Okay. It's a book from 2014. Dude, it's the same old, same old tired phrase of the Hebrew black Israelite stuff. Yes. Been around forever. Yep. Okay. The guy walked there's around a DC group, one time. Yeah, there's a certain group of, of, of black people that say that they are actually the God's chosen people, and they have some stuff to back it up. Okay, whether they're right, wrong, whatever. Who cares? Right. Everybody, every religion's got their shit, right? He's like, I can't be anti-Semitic because, you know, we're Semite, hello. But um, oh, that's what he's saying. The same shit with the Kanye, Kanye said. said that, yeah. Here's the deal. Jews are in charge of everything, in case you didn't know. Well, we do know that. Nets have delivered Kyrie Irving six items he must complete to return to team. Uh, apologize slash condemn the movie. He did that. Stupid, he shouldn't have. 500K donation to anti-hate causes. He's already done that. Whatever that means. Sensitivity training. <laughs> Shit. Just sign my paper, lady. That's I'm such going a joke. Like, how do we not know that's a joke? Yeah. Anti-Semitic training. Meet with ADL and Jewish leaders. That's not awkward. And meet with Joe, whoever, to demonstrate understanding. Joe Logan. Joe, <laughs> Joe Tsai. Have T-S- a three-hour conversation so we know. He's supposed to play Just basketball, right? That's it. Their whole thing, be, like, um, like, what are we doing here? So Ed Reed came out the other day in, in, in support of Kyrie. And, uh, so, basically saying that um, people are more outraged that, uh, that people are saying stuff about Jews probably than you know, the plight of the black man. All right, this is pissing me off because Kanye is obviously in the same boat. Yeah. Where he said a bunch of things. He's like, I want, I want Irish, or Irish, I want Jewish children when their dad walks in the door to be like, dad, why is Kanye mad at us? What did you do? Or like this, like that's what he said he wants them to do. And so he's doing something to get people talking about what he's, what he wants them to talk about. And it, and it works. And honestly, what's the difference than when you blanket all the police with that rhetoric of what they did? Because it's this, not, it doesn't fit their narrative. Dude. He, and he they was screwed over by Jewish people. Right, he didn't read his contracts correctly. He didn't. He he or he said, "Fuck it, yeah, yeah." You know, at the time he's like, "Fuck it, I, whatever, get me what I need." Well, he, well, he signed that shit when he was like sane. Yep, and he said, "Whatever, yeah, just get me in the door." They got him in the door later on. He feels like he's getting screwed, which he was. That's how they do but it. He signed. That's just everyone gets screwed, bro. It's Every not just single you, up and comer has everyone. the same story, dude. All they all got fucked. their money yep. taken. Yeah, it does. You're not. You're not like. It's not just you. And it's not just black athletes. It's everybody. It's everybody, and it is pretty much all Jews <laughs> that yeah. are doing the, the and, taking. And so, that is true. And so. So we're probably going to get shot on that one. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's not all police either. We've all had bad run-ins with police, and 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 we they have been slamming police for years now. Oh yeah. And 
rightfully so in a lot of cases, but it's not every police. We try to say that, but oh, there, there is a, a, a the, all the, cops are bastards. There's millions that's, of interactions every day with that's what I'm cops you and only people. See the bad yeah, ones. yeah. Yeah, well, there's not, there's not like just a. It's too the, boring to show a good one. Right, you no, can yeah, find the good not, ones. There's not like you can, but there's not a ton of videos of, of a cop just going, nope. "Hey, slow it down, have a good day." Well, it's because and of what you, cl- you know, what I'm saying it's because of what you click on and what you want to read. They're right. gonna feed it to you. They're gonna feed you all the bad stuff, and you're gonna only see that, and you're gonna be terrified every time you go out. So social media has a large, large uh, uh, hand in this, and they need. I mean, we need to start looking at them a little bit and be like, "What the fuck are you all doing?" They know they're doing it, and they are, they. They get away with Dude, it. Dude, the government created them. Yeah. Like, this part of it. Create social, like, disruption at all times. Dude. But, but no one's saying a damn thing. And so... No peace ever. My thing is, this is so random out of left field, but, like, at least... I'm not, I'm not on their side at all. At least January 6th riots, they were going after the right people. They weren't going after a bunch of people with businesses, just yeah. living like their life. Like the people making the rules. At least they yeah. went in the right direction, whether it was right or wrong, whether you were on their side or not. There needs to be something done about this, like social media. I'm not saying riot and go through that. I'm just saying it needs more attention so towards Facebook, towards the, uh, Instagram, which is The Facebook. other way to look at that is like the libertarian way, which is like, hey- no one's making us use this stuff. Like, be smart sure. enough to get off of it. True. You know what but I mean? And, like, personal dude, responsibility. We can see that. We see them comment. All the, you see those comments where you're like, how are you biting on this? You it's see hard, dude. It's hard. But, like, if people are that dumb, then dang. You yeah. know, maybe that is our play. I, I posted such a sarcastic thing on a flat earther like, uh, uh, I site. I I posted such dude, a- Dude, when you post on some obscure thing- What the hell? I don't want you I to see that. I get a notification. I don't want you to see I that. see it. I'm by myself I hanging out. Guy. Look at this I'm guy. <laughs> I might even have liked it. I can't remember. <laughs> dude, I was like, I'm where is that. Mike? Mike is so far deep in the internet right now. And I, a group. I, I, see I joined the, a flat earther dude, group. Well, I saw oh another God. comment you put that was like- um, well, don't, oh don't go there or something like that. It was so uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know oh about that, do you? You don't know. I see all that. <laughs> I did say like this. <laughs> I said, this dude just found out about the sky at 38. <laughs> oh, my God. He said, look, there's sunlight over there, but somehow there's sunlight over there. Like, that was an you actual thing. You wrote something that was like, I mean, don't, I don't you know, do dude. it, Buster, I, I, or something like that. Don't, don't be an idiot or something like well, that. Uh, oh, my God. I, 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 I can probably find it because I don't, I don't get that many notifications. They're freaking annoying. And honestly- it's fun, but what I was saying was I posted something in, sar- in like sarcastically, like how do all the government officials keep up with all this stuff? You know, right, like right. It, it's it's the the coming uh, eclipse, <laughs> and some guys like it's because it's real. Like he was he's pissed at me. I was like, bro, wow, wow. Like people oh, you are mentioned stu- me. <laughs> That's oh why. my god. See, look, you, you mentioned see? me in a comment. What what, what oh, was you it? said Jacob West Brent. Yeah. Oh, it's a flat earther thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a sweating guy. Yeah, yeah. But there's other ones that I see that you just. Oh, I had a funny thing about when Chet was at the casino. That man, that man back, back loves at it again. his gambling. I'll tell you that. Um, I love gambling too. It's Me fun. Too. I love it, dude. It's oh, like taking my friends. He money. was betting like really like oh say when he's playing he's playing the poker where it's like everybody against the dealer. What's that called? Three card poker or something. <sighs> I think that's the one you play there. Where you, you are on a team versus the dealer. You're not on a team. You're just separate. You're not on a team, but you're not supposed to whatever. talk, but you can. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's betting like double on everything, on all the little options and shit yeah. every single time. Because he's like, you'll win that back eventually, like when it comes down. <laughs> that I'm is like, a sucker yeah. bet, but I, Yeah, but the people that think like that are the ones that hit it. Yeah, yeah. He does. Like if I'm like, I've done the math, you can never hit this, I will never hit it. I think he left Vegas a little up. Dude, he... My man at the airport on the way home went inside that little smoking room that they have there that has slots slot in it. Machines, yeah. He won seventeen hundred dollars in there. Jesus <laughs> the rich get richer. It's so, ridiculous. anyways, he was like betting, and there, she, the lady asked him like, bef- "She like, do you want to fold? And like, you want to see another day?" And he went, "I'm gonna see it anyway." <laughs> and he fucking did it, and he bet so much money and went out. <laughs> He's like, "All right, let's go." Uh... <laughs> It was ridiculous. He also Game uh, is so fun though. Oh, I saw a random access panel in like the back of a stall in the casino. It was like in the last stall. I don't know why I went to it. I was just like, I'm going <sighs> to piss. Were you thinking about like some sort of heist? It was pretty dirty. Uh like there was just piss everywhere for some reason. And I go <laughs> back and I'm like so if you see an access door, right? That's kind of like a little open. It's like it a out. it's like a foot by foot. And it's like in the last stall. Are you open in it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I opened I it, see this like bro. A bag of- you opened it? Yes. <laughs> Was it the cash room? It's just some weird fucking dark Tunnel. place that is 
full of trash. I guess everybody's <laughs> been throwing their trash for years in that thing or something, dude. And nobody's cleaning it. Why is it a secret compartment? I, it's an How access big was panel. It's just an access panel for something, like pipes, I guess. It's in a bathroom. But it was large, and it was just full of shit. But, but you, you think you could plan a, like... You think no, it'd be part dude, of your that heist? led to pipes. <laughs> I know, but then you cut a hole through the next one or something. No, 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 no. There's you steal no, it, and then you stick no it in there, and your buddy stealing. comes and gets it. There's no stealing in that place. No fucking shot. I want to be a part of a heist. There's so much. Dude, there's no chance. No chance. Everybody's watching everything. The Ocean's Eleven and stuff like that was so stupid. Oh, yeah. The people getting robbed of those things lasers, are so dumb. Missing I lasers. mean, it's fun, but like the little guy that does the flip into the box and all that, yeah, yeah. Like, that's you ever notice, so stupidest you know, plan ever. It's funny, and I just stupidest thought about plan. this. You ever notice when they go to like those rooms that are full of fucking lasers, yeah. and they're like stepping over, like, oh, oh, why they, is there a fucking camera? <laughs> Yeah, there's never a camera in that room. If you can with buy the a billion dollar uh, system here, you can pay a guy to watch <laughs> a camera. camera. Yeah, <laughs> one, one guy, camera, one camera, is ten dollars an hour. Yeah. I know. Can you imagine watching on your thing like, like uh, and explode. somehow they build like a perfect <laughs> practice <laughs> thing? Hey, stop it! <laughs> hey, 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 back it up! You don't I want hate, that. I hate laser things in movies anymore. Like, do they still do sense. that? That don't make sense. Yes. Back in the day, it was like. You do it in the new Call wow. of Duty. I think it's... Balls. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip wires. Yeah. That is how they used to do it, though. Like, there's some old houses that have, like, you know, 50-year-old uh, things. Like, just just a few more fucking lasers. Broke. Make it like a web. Why would you make it accessible? Oh, your, garage, your garage door? You gotta step over. You, yeah. you gotta step over yeah, the beam. That's true. That's true. That's true. The beam. Can, you throw a little, can you throw a little smoke down there and see the line? <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Oh, oh. Uh, that was my smoke bomb. Oh. Dude, the scariest thing ever. I think I was at Mike's house or something like this. Resident Evil, the movie. Yeah. You watch that? With you and your dad, I think. Oh, jeez. Dude, the lasers that are coming down this tunnel Moving. at the people. Yeah, slices them. Yeah, it slices them. Yeah. And then he tries to get around it, and it moves right on him, cuts him in like a billion pieces. And uh, I, was, I still, I still remember. I still that probably messed him up a little bit. <laughs> it did mess him up a little bit. Because I was like, it's okay, cool. uh, it's like, you can get by this thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> nope. It does not He's let you buy to it. It turned into like a million lasers, and it just slices this dude like in cubes. I was gonna say That's I heard awesome. the new ones like awful. awful. That's from two thousand and like two, dude. Did you guys watch Halloween Ends yet? No, Gosh, but I want to. Not bad. It's I will so, literally never said it was see so that terrible. Movie. No, no, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre was so. Oh, you're right. Bad. You're right. You're right. Halloween Ends kind of it's cheesy, but it's fine. Oh, it is uh, what it is. I'm never going to see I'll it. I'll probably watch it. But what I've been watching re- recently is Love Island. Or Art, or lo- bl- uh, love, lo- lo- yeah, uh, it's not what I was going to say. It but is love funny. Is blind. I did send that to Heather. She's what like, she's, a- she's an Indian. I said, oh, I said, you kind of look Indian, dude. Th- there has never been two people that look more like you guys, and they're together. <laughs> what are the odds? He has his head. I uh, yeah, that it was. That. It's exact dead on your head. He currently has yeah his hair and stuff. Yeah, it I mean, looks exactly it's like you do. Pretty funny. But uh, anyways, no, I've been watching um our first early episodes because I'm trying uh, to make a highlight video for a hundo. Just like an hour long, maybe I don't know. It's just gonna be uh, like all the best parts that. Oh I, man, I, that should be easy. Like, dude, I'm barely easy to make a hunt an, an hour. Not. Easy to cut all of it out. There's a lot of funny stuff. That part is a lot of work. The cutting part. Like, oh, like yeah. I'm listening back on like literally 1.75 speed. <sighs> yeah. And like I, I'm like, okay, that part was definitely funny. I'm keeping it because I want people to watch it when they come on our YouTube and have a vibe or have they know who we are really quickly. Right. And they can grasp on a little quicker to who you know, to who we That's are. It's gonna be awesome. And so I, I've cut out all the good parts where it's like uh, talking about the circumcision. I have talked about uh, there's a few. Funny I want to listen back to that. I want to hear what I what I said about that. You said no. Well, I, I know I said no, but I want to hear the, like the whole. I just want to hear the episode again. Like I it's just a more. It. Re, oh, we only did that to keep clean. Uh, when it was harder to keep clean. Yeah, and there was like one priest in New York that was like, we need to. And then do Brent this. said he talked to like three girls at a bar, and he said they all made the same face when he brought it up. Yep. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. They're like, that's just because no, they don't know. That's and fine. then I said that I was going to get a surgery to put someone on. <laughs> <laughs> put some skin un, back on. A, <laughs> yeah. Uncircumcision. Yeah, yeah. And then uncircumcision. I, then I said, uh, yeah, um, um, uh, just double it in length. <laughs> and, and then I said it'd be like a Chinese uh, finger trap. <laughs> It's kind of funny. <laughs> so Payne said he could stuff G.I. Joe's in there. <laughs> I was like, I oh, love how there's, like, there's an early days now to our podcast. Yeah. There's like an early days. It's, exactly. been, it's been that long now. It's and funny. dude, honestly, yeah, like all of it was, was really fun. Um, God, remember, and then we did like it looked Zoom. Good. 
yeah. from our apartment. Those so were my, bad. My apartment, y'all's house. Those, that's where I'm about to get to. Like that's why I kept all the Corona comments about yeah, it's nothing. That's yeah. my worst take ever. Yeah. But it really was nothing. But I didn't know the world was gonna freak out. So like, no, I'm going to. I literally you said, said I'm going to Europe. Like no, I, I was going to Singapore. Yeah. I, I was. I can't believe. Imagine if you guys. I stuck can't there. believe the way it played out. Yeah. We, <laughs> I did not see that coming. I, I will say that. I kept it in there every time he t- we brought it up. It was like first mention of Corona. And then like, it'll be cool like to watch. Because like a lot of the clips will be like literally a minute or two minutes. Yeah. But then there's some where I thought like, that was pretty good talk. We should leave that whole thing in there so they yeah. can see that we can get deep sometimes. Oh, yeah. There were some good like good conversations about um, family and stuff like that. Yeah. And, yeah, there was. So it's kind of a, a big task, but I think it's worth it to, to put it up. So whatever. And honestly, I miss... Uh, <sighs> I was bummed when the alien intro stopped. Dude, those, those were so really funny. Because I was funny. watching. Dude, you, yeah, it but you stopped were like, immediately. You were just working so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, that's because it, the other editing <laughs> parts stuff. that we do now are, I was doing all by hand. But they stopped. <laughs> those were funny, dude. It's, they stopped right after Matt was like, I don't get the intros. And it, like, they just stopped. They stopped. One guy said something bad. I was like, nope, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> what's, what's a truck? How do we end? Like the, uh, the the whole show? No, no. How did we end the um, We got to figure that out. Like he had a little black baby. Oh, yeah, no. He just had the black baby. Um, the aliens were pissed that they were getting along so well. Oh. And um, <laughs> yep, n- yep. You nuked everything or something? No, nothing happened. They just kind of stopped. And so I've been thinking of ways to, to bring it back maybe for the 100th. And I've got a few ideas. I say we go to Big Dogs for breakfast. I, I feel like. I heard that guy's trying to get out of that lease. Uh, that's what I heard too. But he's serving breakfast now on the weekends, which is hilarious. Dude, Funny. I thought well, about Saint Mary's keeping, Landing's out, so I thought about keeping all the regulars all the, from there went right down there. Moose. I was keeping all the the big dogs talk as well because there's a point where like they had to remodel like literally a couple episodes in, and it's they so did remodel. Funny. It's so funny. And it is better. I went in there is a little bit ago. No more steel on the wall. Oh, it's it's more steel. More steel. I think it's more steel. <laughs> they doubled down. It's like a back of an F two fifty in there. Oh, uh, that's the, the truck bed metal. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about truck bed metal. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, everybody. We are good for uh, this episode. I hope you guys are there to watch our hundredth and the yeah. clip show that's going to be with it. And I kind of wanted to watch the clips getting together live. We should get some people in the room for the hundredth. Who do you want to get in here? I don't know yet. The dudes. It is kind of cool. Yeah, we can do that. No, he's had his chances. Did we ask him? Yeah. Oh, I never asked him. We asked him? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Drew. He didn't go cool. to the party two years in uh, a row. Drew, Ben, Kiskel never got to come in. Saw Ben yesterday. Good this man. room is going to be full, my friends. Uh, we got to have some good uh, Bane. things to come. Uh, Bane's got to come back. For Wes, sure. obviously. Bane started this shit with us. We're going to get tattooed. That's not. You're really like. Do y'all know what you want to get? The zero logo. The zero logo. You are getting that. Yeah. yeah. Why not, dude? It's a big part of my <laughs> it doesn't, life. Like uh, as soon as zero's. Yeah, well, you you're right. I, if you're gonna get a tattoo that means anything, like to me, that's a pretty good one. Well, look at it right there in the right in the middle of the table. So, no, look down, bud. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, it's a good Everybody logo. Look at it now. And no matter what, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. And no matter what, like even if when the show goes away, not it's still a cool looking tattoo. It's a zero with an eye, and it's like zero idea. It's a cool little logo. Oh man, it's cool. What a what a long strange <laughs> dude. It's been a long no. Uh, there's we don't know anybody that has gotten together. Me and Brent. No offense, Jake. Even like when you were like taking your breaks or not. Oh, we were grinding, and sometimes it was like hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> you tonight, didn't have to I'm, grind. I'm kind of out of it tonight. Yeah, 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 no, it no, we did because there was other people that dude, we had to. How much longer do I have on this fucking video game, dude? It's taking forever to beat this campaign. Where are you at? They're flying into Chicago on the helicopter. That's why I turned it off. Oh, so you already got past the whole truck chase scene? Oh, there? yeah. Oh, I I just got past that. Oh, shit. I thought you I, beat the No, camp- I went on multiplayer. Oh. Let's not bore the people out there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Modern Warfare 2, guys. Uh, go get it. Uh, you, dude, you know what? If, if Brent's on there, we could get pe- uh, people that listen to come in and yeah, join us and play online. That, 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 That'd be pretty cool. Are you pretty good, Brent? No. <laughs> Think I could be Brent? Probably. Probably, dude. Well, I haven't I'm, played in about a year and a half. The campaign's where you got I only played before that for about a month, and then I didn't play before that for about 15 years. I haven't played a first-person shooter in the new one is, 12 oh, that's years. cool, then. The new one is a continuation, obviously, of that one that came out of Confusion. Which was a good cool. one. It was great. You can it, tell it kept crashing my place. They, they've, like, reused like we scan and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so tight, though. It looks great. Like the code. boat. Have you been on the boat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the big boat. Yep. I love the chase scene with the drug cartel, chasing him over the wall, and then... Going through the town? Yes. That was so sick. Oh, what are you talking about? You're chasing oh. him through the houses. Remember you getting the fire at the end? 
Have you done the one where you got to sneak through the town? Did you play that goddamn cartel one or what? Just don't skip over my, oh, my <laughs> cool part. Don't what, skip which, over my cool part. Which, which part? Skip, which part? You literally see the cartel member when you turn your, your lights on. You see him go over the wall into America, and you're playing. Oh, you're yeah, playing as yeah, the uh, yeah, special yeah, agent yeah, from yeah, Mexico. You're you, Alejandro. You chase him over the wall with your buddy, and you like go through this town in America. Oh, you yeah, say "eff it," like we're going. You're kicking do- people's doors in. There sounds like Sicario. The cops come and stop you, and then like you're like, you, you uh, we're, we're actually yeah. kill a civilian because he shoots on you. Oh yeah, yeah. Civilian tries to shoot you in his house and you blow it. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, do what you gotta do. It's a great, it's I a great guess. game. So anyways, uh, Last of Us, January 15th. Uh, HBO. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to play the game. It's gonna be so good. Trust yeah, I me. think that'll be I thought you beat the campaign. Sick. I gave some stuff away to you on accident. Then. Chicago area. That's all. Flying back to Chicago. Well, you, but you haven't done the... You, you, went, have, the, you went to the... You, you haven't done the smoke bomb with lasers thing yet. Chicago. Did you go into the, uh, un, the underground like cartel base, to the girl? Oh yeah, yeah. That part's so dense. Dude, I'm almost done the game. They're like the, you like go in there as a agent, like saying like you're flipping basically, you know, and you want to tell them stuff, and so you go into the bait, and they the part they start I, getting shit out of you. The part I beat before I came over here took me an hour and a half to beat it. It's well, so hard. I'm pretty good though. You are better than <laughs> these me. These thumbs, boy. These yeah, thumbs. but you're playing on a different level. I hope. These no. Just play on regular difficulty. I play normal any game, right? The first time. Just through. to see how. I don't want like the. I don't want to go. Motherfuckers with the shields and shit. You're like, you have to shoot them a hundred times. They've got all the armor on and uh, shit. As I say, with every right, you'll shoot the feet. Oh yeah, or just throw a grenade off at them. Yeah, yep, you got it. All right, everybody. They're like, what the f <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> Goodbye. Later. Later.